Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I pray, along with the church family, that you are rejoicing and you are glad in it. Thank you for joining us in our 21 days of praying and fasting about the abundant harvest that God wants to bring into each and every one of our lives. We're at day 19. I can't believe it. We're in the last three days of this prayer. I want you to stay strong in the time of prayer and fasting. If you're fasting with us, stay strong in the fast. Maybe if you've messed up and put something in your mouth that you weren't supposed to or ate something that was not approved on the fast, don't get down about that. Get right back up. Join us for these last three days. There's still a blessing, I believe, on the way. And if you're not fasting with us, but you're praying with us, we thank God for you as well. Just coming alongside the church family and praying. I believe the Bible says one can put a thousand to flight. Two can put 10,000 to flight. We just do better. We're stronger when we come together. And so today we're going to be praying together in Psalm 126, Psalm 126 and verse four. Psalm 126 and verse four from the message translation of the word of God. Here's what the word of God says. And now God, do it again. Bring rains to our drought-stricken lives so those who planted their crops in despair will shout hurrahs at the harvest. So those who went off with heavy hearts will come home laughing with arm loads of blessing. Amen. And now God, do it again. Amen. We're going to pray that God would do it again. He's done it before. We pray he'll do it again. He's done it in the lives of our parents and our grandparents and generations past. He's even done it in previous seasons in our own lives. So we're going to believe God to do it again, to bring an abundant harvest to the life of his people. And so today we want to lift up four things to the Lord today in our prayer time. Number one, we want to pray and ask God to bless us in our seasons of drought. You know, there's sometimes when we go through a dry season and God will still bless us in our seasons of drought. Secondly, we want to pray and ask God to bless us in our places of despair. Sometimes we go through times when we're discouraged, despondent, depressed, and times of despair, but we pray God will bless us even in those places and during those seasons. Thirdly, we want to pray and ask God to bless us in times of discouragement. Sometimes our hearts get heavy. Sometimes life gets hard. Sometimes we just go through hell and high water. But we believe that in our times of discouragement, God is still there blessing us through it all. And then fourthly and finally, we want to pray that God will bless us with a harvest of delight. Amen. That according to his word, that we will come home laughing with arm loads of blessings. Amen. Come on, let's go to the Lord together in prayer today. Lord, you are our Lord. and How excellent is your name in all of the earth. Lord, you are the Lord of the harvest. You told us that the harvest, Jesus, is plenteous, but the laborers are few. And you told us when we come up against an opportunity, we don't have what we need to take advantage of it. We could pray to the Lord of the harvest to send workers into the vineyard and that he would do just that. So, Lord God, we've been praying for the last 18 days about the abundant harvest that you want to bring in our life. And so, Lord God, we know that you've been good for it. You've done it in previous generations. You've done it in previous seasons in our own life. You've done it in the lives of our family and our friends. So Lord God, we believe you and trust you to be the Lord of the harvest. Our prayer today, Lord, is that sometimes we go through dry seasons. We go through seasons when it doesn't look like we're going to be productive. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do and meet the needs of our families, God. We go through dry seasons and we pray your blessing be upon us during our times of dryness and our seasons of drought. God, you said in your word that you'll bring rain in our drought-stricken lives. I pray for somebody today that their prayer life is dry. I pray you would send rain of your Holy Spirit and that you would freshen their prayer life. I pray somebody who has a drought in reading the word of God. It's hard for them to open the word. It's hard for them to read it. It's hard for them to live in it and apply it. They're in a drought with the word. I pray you would rain upon their life, God, and they would desire the word of God like never before. I pray for somebody who may be in a drought in their relationship, God. 
I pray you would rain on their drought stricken life and you would refresh and revive their relations in Jesus name. I pray, Lord God, that you would bless us even in our times of despair. You said those who planted their crops in despair will shout with hurrahs at the harvest. Lord, sometimes we're in despair because a loved one has gone home to be with you. Uh, someone, a relationship is broken up and we no longer have fellowship with that person. God, sometimes we go through despair because we've lost a job or finances have not gone according to plan. I pray, Lord God, you would bless us in our times of despair, that we would shout with hurrahs at the time of harvest. God bless us even in our times of discouragement. Sometimes life gets hard, Lord, and sometimes our hearts get heavy. Sometimes, God, we have to go through hell and high water, but we know, Lord God, you never leave us, nor do you forsake us, and you bless us even in our times of discouragement. And I pray, Lord God, that through our droughts and through our times of despair and discouragement, God, you would bless us with the harvest of delight, that you would bring us home, Lord, laughing with arm loads of blessings, Lord. I pray, Lord God, as the Lord of the harvest, that you would bless your people with bountiful blessings, Lord, that you would bless them with joyful hearts, Lord, that you would bless them with arms that carry provisions for their families, that carry provisions for their community, that carry provisions for the least, the lonely, and the left out, God. I believe that you are the Lord of the harvest and that you can do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask, think, or imagine according to your power that is at work in us, Lord. Do it again, oh God. You've done it before and you can do it again. And we're believing you for it. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you for joining us today. We prayed again from Psalm 126 and verse four from the message translation. It says, and now God do it again. Bring rains to our drought stricken lives. So those who planted their crops in despair will shout who rise at the harvest. So those who went off with heavy hearts will come home laughing with arm loads of blessings. Amen. Listen, I love you in the Lord. I'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.